So we went through a few years there where there was no language work, government funded language work occurring in the gold fields. Um, and that's when uh, Sue Hansen approached us at the Ngalia Foundation and the Ngalia Foundation is a partnership between the Ngalia Heritage Research Council, which is a corporation that we founded back in 1989 to record, preserve, document uh, Aboriginal heritage and culture. And we've done that in various ways. If we had to fight the mining company, we'll kick them until they, uh, there was, I know Mr Bowler here would be, have fond memories of our arguments in the past about uh, fighting <laughs> uh, against uh, mining companies trying to destroy 200 Aboriginal sites. Um, I'm happy to say that we won, and they haven't yet. Um, but that's been our approach, is a sense of activism and a sense of purpose towards re recording, preserving and protecting. And just within the Ngalia work that we've done, we've got genealogies. Uh, my parents worked on the original Ngalia dictionary, um, family histories, uh, sites recording, so we've documented and recorded a lot of the sites, the dreaming stories. This is all for country in the north, north of Leonora, uh, out into the desert. And so coming together with the National Trust and with Sue, uh, she identified the fact that the language centre had closed down and there was no government funded language work happening. And that's where we managed to come together to form uh, the Goldfields Aboriginal Languages Project, um, which has been operating for the last six years, five years, five years, um, in a virtual capacity. Now, me personally, I think the virtual approach is the best because you save on all the overheads and then you can put all your money back into the pro program. But um, we come to the point of having a uh, building here and I think it's a great thing. It will, it's in the main street, it's in, it's in your block, isn't it? The endowment block, the city of Kalgoorlie Boulder, and therefore um, is prominent. Now, I, well, before I do stop, I said government funded language work. In this region, we have had many, many, many years of people doing language work voluntarily unfunded. Uh, some of the elders in the room now, looking at Mr Hadfield, Mr Graham, uh, my parents, Mrs Hadfield, um, a lot of the old missionaries, uh, Mr Champion, who you heard at the Welcome to the uh, Country. A lot of these people have been working and they've <coughs> committed their entire life to working and recording our languages in this region. And I think that in itself is a major statement, a major um, reflection of people saying we're not going to wait for government funding, we're not going to wait for permission, we're going to go out there and do it. And the volumes of work, when we got the government funding, it was really easy, smooth sailing because there's like 50 years, six, I think all up, if you added it all up, there's a hundred years worth of work that these elders had done prior to the government funding coming in. And that's where the solid foundation from which we can launch now. This morning I got an email from Claire Bowen in Yale, because that was one of the things that Sue and I had to do. We looked around to universities in Australia we couldn't find anyone that were willing to come and work with us. So all the academics in the room, think about that. And so we went across to Yale. And at Yale, so we're a language centre, language project that has a relationship with Yale University. And this morning I got an email saying that the Nullia sketch grammar has been sent off to the printers uh, for publication. So there's a lot of things go, go happening, there's a lot more to be done and it was really, really um, empowering and powerful 
to see our young people get up on stage at the opening of the conference to present our languages uh, to all of you. And hopefully, you know, next time around, we'll have even more great, amazing tales to tell. Um, but uh, it's been a great journey so far, and we're just beginning. So thank you, everyone, and uh, I'll vacate this stage now and hand over to Pam.